Today's lecture begins a series of the revamp of the cranial nerve series, starting with cranial nerve 1, the olfactory nerve. Now the olfactory nerve arises from the foramen, the cribriform plate, seen here on this diagram of the skull. It is a sensory type of nerve fiber, and its function is mainly for smell. The result of a lesion of the olfactory nerve will end in anosmia. So, as we can see from this diagram of the skull, we have the cribriform plate, which is also seen here in this diagram. So as we can see, the cribriform plate has olfactory nerve fibers which pierce through the ethmoid bone and then continue on and link up here into what is called the olfactory bulb, which then courses backward into the skull. As we can see in this diagram, which represents the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla, we can see that the olfactory nerve fibers and bulbs arise actually superior and anterior to the midbrain pons and medulla. So it does not actually arise from the brainstem. As the olfactory fibers traverse backwards, they separate into medial and lateral striae, which will continue on posteriorly as well as crossing for the medial striae to allow for sensory information to be uh, brought into the cortex. So we can see here that we have some causes of anosmia such as infection and environmental causes which will tend to lead to a temporary loss of the sense of smell. We also have head injury and tumors, which can result in a more permanent anosmia. And then we have neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's, and genetic diseases, such as Kalman syndrome, which can uh, present as later onset anosmia. And this is cranial nerve number one.